This is the Formula One of target shooting, pushing the boundaries of performance of rifle and bullet, optics and shooter. This is the 2015 F-Class European Championships taking place this year at Bisley. Way back here, a thousand yards from the target, it's all about precision. Precision engineering and precision shooting with a sprinkle of luck and a dash of bling to add colour and a little national symbolism to what is a very friendly gathering. It's been a sport for about 20 years. It was started in Canada uh, by an older gentleman, George Farkerson, who wanted to put a scope on his rifle to carry on shooting because he couldn't see. And it progressed from there into two disciplines, one FTR, which is a 308 or 223 based discipline, or the open class discipline, which is uh, any calibre up to 8mm. It's, it's what better word of the Formula One of, of shooting. We're shooting at a five inch V-ball. It's the tightest long range target in the world that's used. Uh, and people are getting very good scores. If you look at the wins today, people are still scoring 93, 94% scores. And it's nice to see. And people are enjoying themselves. So what makes a successful F-Class shooter? Oh, meticulous preparation, timing training, getting your kit right, getting your ammunition right, and learning to read the wind. Easy, yeah. <laughs> Mick Maksimovic organises this event looking after 200 plus shooters from all over the planet. There's a competitor from New Zealand and teams from France, Italy and Ukraine. Plus it spans the generations with the youngest competitor 14 years old and the oldest 92. We ask you, is there a more inclusive sport which has you rubbing shoulders with world and European champions? Talking of champions, Stuart Anselm won the European F-Class FTR title here in 2011. A gunsmith by trade, he explains just how tricky this long-range shooting can be. Put into perspective, we're shooting at a 10-inch circle from 1,000 yards. And for every mile an hour of wind, a typical 308 will blow 6 to 7 inches, maybe more. So today, where well, we've got maybe 15 mile an hour of wind, we're aiming 100 plus inches off the centre to try and hit that uh, dinner plate at 1,000 yards. So that sort of kind of puts in perspective what we're doing and when, when the wind changes, uh, we, you know, we've seen today one to two minute wind changes, uh, the sort of flick of a switch, which you're two foot away from where you were, wanted to be. So it's uh, very demoralising, but uh, at the same time, a good feeling when you get it right. This is a sport which tempts you with shinier and shinier kit. There are rifles out of the box that are capable of competing at this level, but in the open class there are beasts like this, created by the Dolphin Gun Company, which just so happens to be owned by Mick. We'll start with the rifle first. The action is manufactured first by a company called CST, easily removable, showing three lugs, gives the dirt, it's been shooting all day. It works well, it cams well, it primary ejects well. The action is very, very accurate. And the rifle is also. It's fitted with a Bartlin 9 twist 7mm barrel. It's firing a 7mm 270 cartridge with a 316 neck, which is predominantly a Wildcat. It's a 270 Winchester short magnum, which is uh, necked up to 7mm. It's one of the most popular cartridges used in F Class Open here and in Europe and around the world. The barrel life is fairly low, it's about 1,000 rounds, 11 to 1,200 rounds maximum. So it's a disposable item, it's like tyres on an expensive car. Chassis is also made by us, it's a modular aluminium chassis, mine's a little bit uh, customised and jazzed up with George and the Dragon. We go to the front coaxial rest, which allows adjustment backwards and forwards, up and down. We also make the rest, uh, in fact I'm trying to use as much of my own product as well while I'm, while I'm shooting to market it. It'll shoot a sub-quarter minute group on a good day, depending on how I am and how the ammunition is and how the wind is. Every good rifle must have good optics. We have a March, which is probably some of the best optics in the world. That's an 8x80. I don't really use it on 80 power, but it's a very, very nice scope. Works very, very well. So you're looking at about £6,000 there for everything all done, yeah? We've said this is an inclusive bunch, and there are even some novices here. Jens Tiggers works for Hornady Ammunition, distributing products throughout Europe and across Africa. He's enjoyed a career pistol target shooting, but with a bit of coaching from Stuart, he's found himself mid-table behind a savage rifle. I have to say, without the help of Stuart Anselm of Osprey Guns, I would not be able to, to be that confident about it. But, I mean, he, he did the setup and he told her what to do. And I said, I went back to my basics, you know, freeze control, trigger control, and just watch what's happening. And it was pretty amazing from the beginning how it went. I mean, this is 
uh, really applied ballistics and that what what uh, really interested me to see how much the influence is how much you can compensate and to work with it recovery you know after your shots blown off the target you try to get the next one on and you learn a lot I mean it's really exciting really exciting the Italians are here in force and are a team to watch. They, like the French and Germans, don't have access to long MOD type ranges like we do in the UK and can struggle to shoot more than 300 metres. We don't have the distances in Italy. The longest shooting range we have is up to 600 yards. There is an experimental range that goes up to 1,000 yards that we're hoping to start using next year. With the shooting over for the day, there's a real party atmosphere as the competitors and teams wait for the results and to continue their post-match analysis. If you want to join this happy gang and push your knowledge and skill of rifle shooting, why not give F-Class a go? For more information or to find out when the next event is on, contact the National Rifle Association of the UK and go to their website nra.org.uk.